I want to show a quick video here on how to take the DJI Goggles 2 and fix the field of view so you get full field of view. That's basically just by changing the pad. Make the goggles much more comfortable by adding a strap to the top and also fix the fogging issue by making the airflow exactly the same as on the V2 version right here where you see it pulls the air off the off the eyes and the factory closed off these front intakes which is what I ended up here I'm pulling it across the eyes and then closed off the front air intakes and so it makes the goggles too exactly like the goggles V2 except better much better I'm gonna do another video when I figure out how to hack this battery and I'm gonna put that cord actually in the DJI battery but that'll be another video because I had to order some breakout boards to see what they're doing so let's get started first up is the strap and the advantage of this top strap is you can get balance for the battery and you're not gonna put any strain on your nose now this top strap, you could probably feed it through without opening up the goggles at all. I'll show the exact measurement where the hole is. And it's, you can see it's right on the hump. And I put it down about 0.418 inches. And then just bend your nylon tie and you could feed it through and then get it out of the other hole. To put on your top strap real quick and easy. To pull off the back plate, you have to use a good Phillips screwdriver. It has to be a good quality. We do have some side screws here. You want to keep them, keep that screwdriver down low. They're, they're pretty easy to strip. You, you pull off one, two, three, four, five, six times two, so there's 12 screws, which I piled up right there. And this back plate, first you pop out the sides and then use a lever tool because there's a little catch right here. So you want to get in there, and once you pop out the top, this whole back plate just comes off pretty easily. This is a temperature controlled soldering iron and I can set a lower temperature of 250 C. Clean your iron with a wet paper towel. Here's my marks and then when I go through on the soldering iron I'm gonna use the front one there and make it as small as possible but it's gonna be a slit rather than a hole and you bend the nylon tie up and you can snake it through your other hole and close the loop and then you got a strap on the top to take the weight off of your nose now I want to show why these goggles too fog so bad they have very little airflow just right where my finger is very little airflow going over the eyeballs and most of the air is sucked in through this front here but you can see through it. Now here's a thermal camera look of where the heat is on the goggles and so on the OLEDs I don't really see any heat down there at the bottom I don't really see any need for air at the bottom but there's quite a bit of need for air at the top so putting those holes around the top gonna get airflow right over that board now a quick and dirty way to get air over the eyes is just leave these little rubber guards out and then the air goes right in through the hole there. But I'm going to put the holes on the top anyway because I want the air to travel all the way across my face. I don't want it to just go in the shortest path right there. I want to feel it everywhere. I'm going to mark every tenth of an inch for my drill line on the tape. Now I want to drill low, 
close to the infrared window because I want you can see where the infrared window is there this board gets really hot and I want that air to be going underneath that board it helps to slit the tape and fold it around and you can see I'm going to town drilling now you see that looks reasonably good and I did lose my spacing but I didn't do two holes it together and I do drill I use a 10x headset which is very helpful got a big old 10 on there now I clean up the holes with my fingernails and then spinning and pulling the drill bit by hand and there we go and these are labeled left and right these side screws are really hard you want to be all the way down and you're just doing tiny little turns because they strip super easy I can't even get these side screws all the way back in I'm not gonna worry about it here's some screws to get M 1.65 millimeter and that'll replace these screws that were stripping out on the sides of the goggles now I want to show to get these side straps through you actually want to fold it over and you'll see the way the hole is cut it's got a wider section and once you fold it you can squeeze it through now this isn't the best foam pad I'll list in the description but it's on back order but this one is way better than the original rubber and to get the field of view complete you want your eyelashes to actually almost touch the glass or if you push on it you know you can actually touch the glass and then your eye is close enough to see the whole screen and they have a slant here there's an angle so the higher up you mount the closer your face will get because you're, you're like dropping dropping it further up and then I did the same thing I went down low and I just cut out the nose piece you get a little bit of light from the bottom it's not a big deal and it allows all the air to just flow right over your nose and then go out through the top something interesting here I'm indoors and I'm just watching some videos on there and this thing is freezing my eyeballs because of the, the indoor room temperature and all you got to do to warm your eyeballs up is open up piece of tape and then they'll just start drawing in air in the front there so you can have uh, temperature regulation of your eyes last you can put a small nylon tie just loosely and that'll make sure you don't unplug I would imagine DJI will eventually do this on a newer version of goggles I made these mods on the goggles too because I want the biggest screen for the best FPV experience the Integra just kinda did a band-aid by using the smaller screen and they are not even addressing the fogging so these are my new goggles I'll be using these every day hope you like watching the video thanks for watching